Today we're gonna fix this. Let's get rolling. Hey everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we're in Rockway, New Jersey, and we've got an existing pondless waterfall that really needs a bit of help. This was built about six years ago, and since then it's been worked on several times because of leak issues. On top of that, it's got a lot of gravel in front of it, so it just looks like a big gravel pit with a mountain of stone behind it. So we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna completely disassemble all this and install a brand new pondless waterfall starting in the back and have a meandering stream making its way towards the front, utilizing all this space instead of having this big gravel patch. The main problem they were having with this waterfall is that it wouldn't run for more than a minute or two because as soon as they turn the pump on, which is down inside this vault, it feeds the water up to the top of the waterfalls and comes back down. This reservoir was improperly constructed. It's just a vault surrounded by these cobbles around the outside that's creating the water storage at the bottom of this reservoir. What is happening is all of this gravel has become completely impacted with leaves, sediment, debris. They've got tons of trees here. So over the years, it's clogged all this gravel far down to the point where the water that's returning from the waterfall can't get into the vault fast enough and feed the pump and it starves itself of water. Our plan today is to remove this entire system completely right down to the bottom of what's here right now. We're gonna take the liner out and everything and we're gonna reconstruct a new reservoir about six feet in front of it. That's gonna give us the opportunity to build this area up and create cascades and stream systems coming down towards the new reservoir. Now it's time to get this old pondless waterfall out of here and get moving. Let me show you what's causing most of the problems here. This gravel has all become impacted with mud and debris and all these leaves that have broken down over the years. This is the pumping vault and it's completely surrounded by all this gravel that's been impacted. The water can't get through all this gravel and muck fast enough to get back into the vault so it can feed the pump that's in there. So over time, it just completely failed. We're gonna do things much differently when we rebuild this. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Now we've got that old pond list completely out of the way, we can start shaping our new one. Right about here is where we're gonna be putting our new reservoir. So the old setup had a pump vault in it. We're gonna be installing a new pump vault. This is where our pump's gonna be housed. You can see it's got these openings in here that allow the water to come inside the vault where the pump can access the water. Instead of surrounding it with gravel like it used to be, we're gonna be using these aqua blocks. These create a structural void. So this is something that's very sturdy. It's got support panels inside of it. It'll handle a lot of weight on top but it's all open cell. It's not gonna get clogged up with dirt like the old situation. The vault goes in first, then we're gonna be putting these aqua blocks on top like this. All the water that's above the pump, which is here, is accessible for the pump to use in the system. We're gonna have four of these inside here. That's gonna have enough water storage to hold about 75 gallons of water, which is plenty for the eight foot stream that we're creating here. This will all be encapsulated inside liner and fabric, which is gonna make it watertight, but we're gonna have a good source to store our water instead of the gravel that we had going on before. Our reservoir is in place. We have our pump vault with our four aqua blocks installed. Underneath the liner, we use a fabric as well as on top of the liner where the aqua blocks sit because these are plastic units that have some sharp corners on them. We wanna do our best to protect the liner and that does that. We've decided to go with one single piece of liner for this entire pond list. Now, sometimes you can use a separate liner for the reservoir and then go up and do an overlap. 
here we figured you know what it's not that big let's just do one piece of liner now the fun part starts we can start creating our stream and waterfall sections we're going to start down the bottom of the reservoir here by disguising the pump vault and this leading edge where it meets up to the existing landscape from that point then we can start going up along our stream course first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the liner back that's laid out we're going to carve out our stream sections trying to determine where our pools are going to be then we'll lay it all back out and start setting some rocks Hanging in there, people. All right, we've got the bones of our waterfall going here. This might be a little difficult to comprehend right now, but here is the bottom of our waterfall. There's our pump vault, aqua blocks. We've got this rock here, which is gonna be our spill. Now, I want water to come off of that, mainly into that little chasm right there, but some's gonna roll off onto this rock, and I pitch this rock inwards. The water will run off of that, onto here, and then in on itself. That should be a really cool effect. Behind that, now we've got a stream working. We're gonna be working through all this rock work here, back to a spill over there. We'll get that chicane type look where it's doing the S coming through the stream. Then from there, we can cut back and we're gonna get a waterfall presenting this way. And finally at the top, it's gonna to be coming like this. So we've got a couple vantage points here that we wanna be concerned with. One is the driveway. As soon as we pull in, you wanna see some of this waterfall. The other one is this rocking swing. That's gonna be a very cool place to hang out right next to the stream. So we wanna make sure that a lot of these cascades and the flowing sections are visible. That's achieved right there. And the last one is the house. We've got the deck way over there. There's a patio as well as some windows. So everything needs to be visible from all those different vantage points. And we are achieving that with this layout. There is no paint by numbers here. You kinda of have to make it up as you go and it's just gonna be whatever you feel is your vision that you wanna achieve. For me, it's more of like that flowing cascades, mountain stream type of look, where we've got the big boulders pinching some smaller waterfalls into it. Then it will expand into some pooling areas that's gonna slow the water down and give you that really cool mountain stream look. had some rain move in on us you know that's not going to stop us we got our tent set up we are still rocking and rolling right now we're working on putting some lighting in like we usually do our lights are set inside cups and we've got a conduit running out which is going to be connected to a hub this way we can easily access our wiring if a fixture goes bad we can pull it out and pull a new one back in without taking any rock work apart the stream is coming together really nicely we're at the point now where we can start graveling inside here, covering up that liner. That's gonna allow us to have some noticeable pooling areas and you'll see that deeper water coming through before it goes off of this waterfall back into the reservoir. Speaking of the reservoir, we did a little bib liner in here. That's just gonna keep the water visible before it disappears into the aqua blocks. Up top, we've got one more waterfall to build. We're gonna go back here, have a cascade, probably coming like this, a little turn, and then it'll come off of that rock there into that pool, working its way down the stream. So stick around, we are getting super close to finishing this waterfall and it's gonna be spectacular.
my God. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Now, see, this is what I always wanted. I know. But I never got. Well, you oh. got it now. Oh, my God. This is an art, really. I told Jack, him. it really is. I said to you're him, an I artist. Said, you're not only a craftsman, you're an artist. Yeah. Uh, very, very nice. Beautiful. This little waterfall has had quite a transformation. We started out with that stacked stone wall where you could see the spillways and it was just kind of a wall of water that was coming down, non-functioning. Also, we had that huge gravel bed that was kind of doing nothing. We utilized all that space with actually less elevation and created this natural looking stream that consumes the whole bed as opposed to just the back section of it. We trucked in about eight yards of soil to build this whole area up so that we could create those different elevations as we work our way back through the stream. With the start of the old waterfall, you were able to see those plastic spillways that were diffusing the water. We used a diffuser up in here as well, but we buried it below the gravel to give it that look of a spring welling up out of the ground, giving it a much more natural feel so you're not looking at any components starting the waterfall. As always, when we're designing a water feature, we wanna take into account the viewing areas. Over here, we've got a little getaway swing Actually, the homeowner sits there and reads books, so having that right next to there, facing some of those waterfalls towards the swing was important. The other place they spend most of their time is up on this patio. Being able to clearly see the whole water feature from that spot was super important as well. And then you've got all the windows in the house that face this area, taking advantage of this spot back here. Another thing we were thinking about when building this was pulling in the driveway, and that's the first thing you're greeted with is that waterfall. Who wouldn't want to venture into the backyard if that's what you're seeing when you pull in? I'm a big believer in you don't need to create a huge backdrop to make an impressive waterfall. We've only got about eight feet from here to the start of the waterfall. We still managed to get four different cascades in that elevation, which is only about three feet. And the way we can wind this stream through the landscape, making it appear much, much larger and utilizing that space, I think it fits it perfectly. To run this waterfall, we went with the AquaSurge 2 to 4,000 variable speed pump. It's remote controlled. You can slow it down to 2,000 gallons per hour, or you can turn it up to 4,000, which is where we are right now. Either way, you're getting two completely different waterfalls and two completely different sounds. There are aquatic lights throughout this, so at nighttime, you're highlighting all the cascades. That's a really nice tranquil effect. You're actually getting two water features, the daytime one and the nighttime water feature. I absolutely love the way this patio falls turned out. I'm sure you guys are gonna let me know down in the comments below. Would you do anything differently? Let me know. Once again, thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, come on back. New water features every week. See you on the next one.